The desire to be powerful was dominating in 2001's RuneScape. For the players who chose to kill each other for entertainment, the entire RuneScape world was their arena. The wilderness did not yet exist, and nowhere except within the Lombridge borders was safe. Only a few days after the release of the game, players like Robin Hood 2 became the most notorious PKer with figures like 78 player kills in just one day, terrorizing anyone weaker than himself. Only the players with higher stats could defeat them, making a clear hierarchy based on who had the bigger sword. Adamant in rune weapons, plate bodies, magical runes for those lucky enough to find them, arrows in large quantities. There were several combinations of gear that would make your character stronger, but nothing would beat the combination of good stats. A high attack level to wield better weapons, defense for higher level gear, and maybe most importantly strength, to hit your targets for as much damage as possible. But the one item that would make you insanely strong, maybe to the degree where no weapon or armor would be any match for you, was hidden inside an uncommon and seemingly random piece of food. The spinach roll. The Garrow brothers introduced the spinach roll on the very first day of RuneScape. Inspired by the classic Popeye's cartoons, eating it would make your muscles grow in an instant. And the more you ate, the stronger you'd become. Eating one roll would give you a whole plus 5 boost to your strength level. Eating another would give you plus 10. A third plus 15. Like that, it'd keep stacking until you either ran out of rolls, or the levels would start depleting after some time. The item could only be obtained through Demon Slayer, by speaking to Wizard Treyborn during a very specific part of the quest and accepting the role when he offered it to you. The chat dialogue leading to the role wouldn't be the fastest way through to continue on with the quest, but the role could be collected as many times as you'd like. But if you continued the quest, there'd be no way to get new portions of the item. That is, until February of 2001, when the Moss Giants were released and dropped the roll with a rate of 1 to 128. However, this was still early RuneScape, and their combat level was 62, the highest level monster in the game at the time by a landslide, and considering banks couldn't store anything but coins until late July. For the first 6 months, everyone ran around with all of their items in their inventory. This meant few people dared to risk it all going up against these monsters, let alone to use precious inventory space to stack up on such a rare drop to use a single time in combat. The roll allowed you to get an insanely high strength bonus, letting you kill other players with stats far above what your combat level represented. Being a low level player wouldn't matter, as your fists alone would be a deadly weapon against any opponent at the time. A similar exploit had been discovered in late January 2001, where the plus one to strength and HP obtained from drinking beer would stack, letting you run around in the game with an inventory full of booze smacking everyone around. Andrew Gower fixed this when it was found, but the spinach roll exploit was far stronger. The benefits you'd get from a full inventory of beer, which at the time was 30 spots, could be repeated with only 6 rolls, let alone 30, potentially giving you a bonus of 150 strength points on top of your current level. But the knowledge of this extremely powerful item went mostly undiscovered. Though the various RuneScape fan sites would recognize the existence of the roll and how to obtain it from Wizard Treyborn, none of them would talk about the stacking effect. And because of the low healing qualities, being only 2 HP per roll, and the strength potion giving you a higher bonus per single dose, collecting the roll wasn't ever considered a viable strategy by the players. Because of this, there's no way to know for sure to what degree the players would abuse the stacking bonus of the spinach roll. In June of 2001, an owner of a fan site would thank a user on the Tippet forums for posting an image of the roll, calling it very rare and non-powerful, clearly unaware of not only its benefits, but also how easy it actually was to obtain it. Rab, one of the RuneScape beta testers who had a direct line with Andrew Gabber, frequently discussing bugs and exploits with him throughout 2001, has no record of the spinach roll ever being discussed. Despite beta testing Demon Slayer countless of times prior to the release of RuneScape, Rab had no recollection of the spinach roll ever being part of it, underlining how unknown it was. 
However, there are records of players slowly discovering its effect. Thanks to the Tippet forums and the Wayback Machine, there are several archived forum threads discussing the role and what it was. But the later the date, the more specific the threads become. On the 1st of July, a player claims to have seen the role and wonder what it is. On the 18th of August, one player is selling the role claiming it gives a permanent strength bonus. 21st of August, somebody asks if the role really is that good. On 18th of September, some days prior to the release of Dragon Slayer, a player suggested bringing along two spinach rolls for the boosted effect of plus 10 strength, in addition to a strength potion to defeat Elvark. And finally, on 26th of September, a player is attempting to buy as many rolls as possible, showing this steady increase of interest in the item. It's likely this spike of interest caught the attention of the Garrow brothers. In December of 2001, the spinach roll was given a third source, as a potential reward from the Christmas cracker. However, at this point, the strength bonus had been removed. Despite the nerf of this extremely mighty item, its legacy in RuneScape had only just begun. After the effect was removed and the item was added as a reward from pulling what would soon become one of the most expensive items in the game, the players who knew of its past power would begin to center it in their scams, selling the item for several thousand to eventually millions of coins, spoofing its rarity as food only obtainable from the cracker, lining it up on the same shelf as party hats. A fourth drop source was eventually added, being as a reward from random events. But due to the obscure methods of obtaining the role, it wasn't hard for scammers to convince young and unaware players it was worth a lot of money, despite the off chance of obtaining it from these randomized activities. Other rumors started spreading about the role, such as it having a chance of killing you instantly when eaten, or that there was a chance it would poison you or even lower your stats. This built a general fear to even hold the item in case they might consume it by accident. Old forum posts made over the next few years show how rumors of the role spread, despite the wiser players attempting to debunk the myths around it. Even memes today reminisce about giving away their valued gear for the chance to own the role. The scams revolving around the previously powerful item had reigned for nearly six years before Jagex made a move to stop it, and on the 20th of November 2007, they made the item untradeable. Since then, the role has been made very common, though still extremely useless. In 2005, the NPC Rasolo started selling the role for 1 GP in his somewhat hidden shop, and in 2009 was sold by Beefy Bill in Lumbridge for the same price. Though the role serves no good purpose today, it still carries a dark history of scamming and, for most of 2001, being RuneScape's most powerful item. Thank you so much for watching. Consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll consider eating my vegetables during dinner. My name is Will Miss It, and I'll see you all later.